For the right, every story needs a villain. And for the story of Donald Trump possibly being indicted, they found one. It's not Trump, of course. It's not Stormy Daniels. It's not even Manhattan District Attorney Alvin Bragg. Not really. It's one evil, sinister puppet master who they tell us is behind all of it. Some type of manufactured circus by some Soros DA. A Soros prosecutor. This prosecutor, Alan Bragg, is, is from George Soros' side. Listening to his master, George Soros. George Soros. Mr. Soros. Alvin Bragg, in particular, is the most radical DA you can ultimately get to. George Soros funded him over a million dollars. Actually, George Soros did not give Alvin Bragg a million dollars, and we'll get to that in a moment. But that's not really the point of these attacks anyway. George Soros is a Hungarian-American billionaire known for supporting progressive causes like criminal justice reform, but he's also a Jewish Holocaust survivor. So for right-wing politicians around the world, not just in America, throwing Soros out there as a catch-all attack on anything liberals do has become a convenient and common anti-Semitic dog whistle. It's the latest version of a centuries-old trope that rich and powerful Jews are working behind the scenes to shape global events. Viktor Orban's far-right government in Hungary has attacked Soros for years. Here in the US, the billionaire has been blamed by Republicans, by Fox, by Trump, for everything from the migrant caravan to Black Lives Matter demonstrations. Anti-Semitic conspiracy theories that have led to real-world violence. When a Trump supporter and Fox fan sent pipe bombs to high-profile Democrats in 2018, he included George Soros. Now, Republicans, of course, say their attacks on Soros have nothing to do with anti-Semitism. They're just following the money. And it is true that Soros donates to progressive DAs and criminal justice reform efforts nationwide. But guess what? Manhattan District Attorney Alvin Bragg is not a Soros DA or a Soros-backed DA, not by any stretch. The only thing linking Soros and Bragg is a pack called Color of Change, which got a million dollars from Soros during Bragg's primary campaign in 2021. The pack endorsed Bragg and spent money urging voters to back him but they never donated to Bragg directly. And that million dollars represents, by the way, less than a third of the money that the Bragg campaign itself raised. To be clear, money never flowed from color of change to Alvin Bragg, let alone from Soros to Bragg. In fact, Soros didn't give the money to color of change and say, spend it on Bragg, who, by the way, was touting his record of going after Trump well before color of change pledged to spend any money promoting his campaign. And Soros says he's never had any contact with the DA. We asked him, quote, George Soros and Alvin Bragg have never met in person or spoken by telephone, email, Zoom, etc. There has been no contact between the two. Neither George Soros nor his democracy pack contributed to Alvin Bragg's campaign for Manhattan District Attorney. So the link between George Soros and an Alvin Bragg prosecution of Trump just isn't there. And to call Bragg a Soros DA or a Soros-backed animal, as Donald Trump did on Thursday, is just an offensive lie, an offensive anti-Semitic lie. But you know what? Sure. Let's imagine for a moment that Soros had publicly called for Trump to be prosecuted over the Stormy Daniels hush money payments. Let's imagine that he had donated to DA Alvin Bragg directly. Aren't Republicans supposed to be totally fine with billionaires spending on election campaigns, with money being protected speech? So what issue, what problem, what objection could they possibly have to this Jewish billionaire Holocaust survivor?